Today I've got with me the R1 compact case, the R1C, you've probably seen it on Instagram. And um, I've been promoting it a bit because it's um, not our latest case, but it's um, one of, it's a fairly popular case amongst the people that have been purchasing them. And I just thought I'd do a little bit of a feature on it to take you through some of the things that it can do. And just introduce you to it a little bit more than just some photos. Um, so this case is designed for a taken down recurve bow or um, even a, a long bow can fit in here quite comfortably. Um, probably the long bows would go into the 680 case. This one's the 600 or 60 centimeter case. It's got a 62 inch, um, it was actually a 60 inch recurve bow that's been taken down, which I'll show you in a second. But um, I've put a couple of straps on the front just to allow you to hook anything to it that you like. Um, these webbing straps are pretty handy. Uh, this one's holding the arrow cylinder, but you can put in a bow quiver, or sorry, a, a standard quiver, um, like a safari tuff or something like that would fit pretty nicely here. <clears throat> um, I've got a little pouch on the bottom just to keep the, um, the um, arrow cylinder or quiver, or what have you, just from slipping out. Arrow cylinder doesn't have too many places to hook onto it, so it's um, pretty handy to keep it in check. Um, I've got the two large pockets on the front. Um, these are wide enough to put in a, a bow square or anything like that. Generally, when you take down your bow and you put it back together, you want to make sure that you get the right brace height. So, inside, I've got a couple of large pockets on the front, inside front pocket. These are pretty handy for um, just bits and pieces that you're going to need, glues, gloves, etc. Um, as you can see inside here, I have a um, bow quiver. This one's a marksman's uh, quiver. Great quivers, by the way, tough as. But um, these fit quite comfortably inside the case. And of course, I've just got some Velcro straps with the webbing just to keep uh, the riser in. This one's quite a large riser, um, being on the PSC. But um, you've got smaller risers and larger limbs. If so, you probably want to get the 680. Um, but these are really handy if you're going to be packing away um, a car full of gear to go on a family holiday or something. You don't want your big, um, your big bow case uh, not taken down or not wrapped up. Um, and they're pretty comfortable too. You can pack a jacket, a jumper, a pair of pants, a bunch of other things uh, for even a day hike. Some people put camera equipment in them as well. Um, they're pretty handy. But the idea is that you can pack a bunch of stuff in here, take your bow out, take your arrows out and pack the other stuff back in there and you can use this as pretty much a day pack or something like that, which I've done a few times and it uh, seems to work. Put your gear back in and uh, wrap it up. Put a nice big open front so you can pretty much open it like a book. Um, Put your arrows tube back in, or whatever you got. And these are pretty simple to put back together. And we're pretty much ready to go. I'll just show you the back. So on the back you've got a um, nice big comfortable strap that's well and truly padded. You've got a lot of adjustment depending on how massive and ripped you are. Um, you've also got the option of carrying it over your right or your left shoulder with these clips and then I've got two loops on either side so just whichever one you feel comfortable with or whichever one you're shooting with. Um, you probably can put keep your arrows tube on there while you're shooting so um, it can pretty much become a, a quiver in some respects but, uh, but there you have it that's the R1C again made with a thousand denier tough as nails um, nice padded aerated fabric on the back um, yeah this thing's a, a pretty good case and probably pretty handy to take wherever you're going next.